I've been spoiled. Julian's here like every week to sit and laugh and make fun of me and he's not here this week and I just feel so alone. I've been watching a lot of DIY videos lately and a long time ago someone sent me a link that was on Facebook and it was this, this hot glue video where someone had made flip flops out of hot glue and I got like physically angry. I got like hot in the face and was like kind of mad. <laughs> but I know that these videos are all over Instagram and Facebook. I've never really seen seen anybody talk about it, about how absolutely god awful these are. With the exception of Drew Gooden, who has made one video in the past and actually re released another video today about Instagram like life hacks. I'd say by far the ones that sort of like baffle me the most are the hot glue ones. The things that people will do with a hot glue gun and call it a hack is just beyond. Like I don't know who they are for. Who are you helping? Like some of them are just like popsicle sticks and razor blades that you glued together and made yourself like a prison weapon. But I really wanted to try some of these hot glue hacks and I'm not gonna do like the more ridiculous ones where they hot glue like a bottle cap onto an orange and squeeze it and make orange juice. Like I cannot justify spending my time that way. And this is coming from someone who put rhinestones all over their entire face. But I am a little curious about some of the wearables. If anyone's gonna actually sit down and do these crafts, it's gonna be me because I really don't know anyone else that would watch this and be like, yeah, I got some time to kill and some glue to waste. The prerequisite for making this pair of hot glue shoes is to own a pair of shoes beforehand to trace. Why don't you just wear those perfectly good sh it Looks like parchment paper. You just cover the shit out of it with hot glue. Attach like a strap, and then you put another layer on top to somehow negate the fact that it's filled with holes. What a life hack. So I wanna try it because I haven't seen anyone be like, I tried this stuff on five minute crafts. I wasted my time, energy, money, resources, and these are my results. So I'm gonna do that. Mind you, when I was getting supplies for this video, it cost me almost a hundred dollars to get all the supplies to make the things that I'm about to make. So just keep that in mind for those of you that are like, oh yeah, it's like such an inexpensive, cool way to like make stuff. I'm not sure I agree with that because a lot of the stuff that they're DIYing, it's like sometimes not really stuff you just have like laying around the house. So the whole name of the channel is Five Minute Crafts. So if this takes me longer than five minutes, I call bullshit on that entire channel. So when I wear these, people will be like, oh shit girl, where you get those fucking shoes from? And I'll say Five Minute Crafts on YouTube, the channel that scams you into watching 12 of their videos in a row before you realize it's all the same fucking video. Do you see my hand shaking already? Like, I'm tired. This is exhausting. I honestly, like, I want to be wrong. I want to believe. But so far, this just seems like a tedious, slightly dangerous task. And a wasteful one at that. Like, this takes a lot more glue than I had anticipated. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably like six dollars. Unless you didn't have parchment paper, then maybe ten dollars. Now you're in the ten dollar range. This is like you could buy a pair at Target for $10 now. So I'm a little confused as to why the fuck you're spending that kind of money to glue yourself a pair of shoes that have holes in the bottom. Now I'm not gonna use parchment paper to make the sandal straps because I'm just gonna do it on my table because I've stopped giving a fuck. I'm by no means a weak girl. I have strong meaty arms, which sometimes look fat in shirts. I have pretty decent grip strength and my grip is exhausted. This is exhausting. The sun's literally setting since I started doing this. The sun's also setting on my window of opportunity for me to do something with my life. Like I'm not trying to stifle anybody's creativity, but this is a fucking waste of time. I can't believe I have to do another layer before this holy whole pair of shoes is done. Like if I step on anything mildly three dimensional, it will go into my foot. I think this is like a very loose definition of shoes. They don't protect your feet from anything. What are they adding to your foot? The idea of doing more hot glue crafts after this is like making me hivey. Just sort of waiting for it to be over. And these shoes obviously will just inevitably fall apart and you'll have to hot glue them back together. Like if you ever tried to hot glue part of your shoe back together, it doesn't work. Let's make a whole shoe out of that. 
frustrating substance. I'm just settling for blobby blob mess at this point because I just don't care. I know it's only been a couple of minutes for you, but for me, it has not been. Okay, it's like lifting the other side. Oh no, this design is flawed. It pulls the shoe up, you know. Okay, this part's coming apart now too. Yeah, let's just get back in here. These better be the dankest shoes in the world. I mean, the texture and just the general design of them remind me a lot of like jellies, but I feel like you could find jellies cheaper than what I just did. Maybe I didn't make the strap long enough, but then again, it's not like they showed you how to do it, so. See, the problem is, is that they don't really stick together because there's so many holes in them. Okay. You know, they're not structurally sound anywhere. But now that I have completed them, I guess I am a little bit proud. It's kind of cool, but is it? Is it though? I'll just go and jam these on my feet. Oh, okay. See, it just sort of like, let me get up and I'll show you. At first when I put them on, they felt kind of good. I was like, oh, that's a little squishy. After a couple seconds, it physically starts to hurt. It feels like you're standing on some softish Legos. Look it, if I take one step, they sort of just flop all over. They are not shoes at all. This is not okay. This doesn't feel good and they don't work. Like if I were to actually walk, they just slip off my feet, see that? What the hell is going on? I will never get this part of my life back. I knew they looked ridiculous on the internet, cause guess what? They are, this doesn't work. These have been an exhausting failure, but I am gonna move on to the next craft, which is slightly less involved. But before I do that, let me just give you an idea of what else is on this channel. First of all, this person just made a tiny little bikini for their iPhone, whose underwear slips over the home button so you can no longer use it. Sick. But this is probably one of my favorite crafts. You just take a tampon, okay? And you glue it to the top of a jar and spray paint it. Oh, it, it's, it's for your rings. They have 12 million subscribers. I'm not trying to shit on, on their channel or their creativity, but you know what? Some of it feels like you're gonna pull a muscle from reaching. So this next one got me pretty hyped up. Individually cutting out, wait for it, a set of hot glue fake nails, which I will not be coloring in. Okay, so, what they just did just now was take a small little adhesive that usually you'd get like in a set of other press on nails or you could buy individually probably. But the moral of the story is, so you came so far as to get nail adhesive and not get any nails to glue them with. You're gonna make the nails out of hot glue and glue them on your nail. Okay, I'm pumped. I can't wait to do it. Lucky for me, I can repurpose my shoe forms for what looks like he made a blob in here. Like, I'm just trying to understand like who some of these crafts are for. Someone that has nail adhesive stickers, a hot glue gun and tons of glue, but like no fake nails. It's certainly not for a kid. This is way too much hot glue gun activity for a child. A grown woman like me? Apparently. I see all these hack videos and I've never seen anyone be like, oh my God, thanks, this is so great, I made that. I think people just like like idea porn, even if they're bad. Hopefully that's enough for five beautiful hot glue nails. Okay, this is kind of nice to cut. I do kind of like this like solid glue piece and then you cut it. That feels kind of good. So you're like ass. Imagine if you went to a nail salon and you're like, yeah, I'd like a set of glue nails, please. Coming right up, bitch. You give me a minute, I'll color them in too. Oh shit. Here is the closest adhesive that I have, which is a little bit of lash glue. I'm doing it to try it. I don't want them. There's hot glue dripping everywhere. It's just like every second that you have the hot glue gun on, it wastes itself. Why? Oh, it's a bloodbath. Although the flat texture of the glue does feel nice and fun, this is not the shape of a nail. Your nail isn't flat. This is not a life hack at all. This is, again, a waste of time and hot glue and lash glue. I hate it. I wanna say, hell yeah, I love making stuff with hot glue. I'm just 
No! You can't do this! It's not okay! No! This is not right! It's wrong! This is not a solution to any problem! This is a mess! So far, I'm all for tips. I'm never gonna get this time back, am I? This is what happens when we blindly watch videos and no one actually tries them. This is a sham. Although this next hot glue hack is not necessarily a wearable, I honestly could not help myself because I wanna try it. All right, so you take a glove. I think I might use one like this, it's a little softer. And then, oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, okay. I don't have a cat, obviously, but I do have a marble. So it seems like you just put balls of hot glue all over the place. Okay, the one thing I will say is that the hot glue is getting all over the rest of the glove as well. You can't really make like clean dots with a hot glue gun. We all know that. I just hope none of these just like break off and get into his fur. It's kind of a blob glove. See if you like it. Some of his fur is coming out. I mean, he sheds a little, but like not a ton. Does it feel good? What do you think? It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Kermit, do you want the glove too? Do you want to try? Do you like that? You like that or you don't care? You can't tell if that's my hand or what? Oh, does it feel good? I will say that maybe if you put some smaller dots on here, it might work on like a cat, but like some of them are already coming off. And I thought half of the appeal of like a pet glove is like you could wash it or like get some of the hair out. Like if you put this in any kind of water, all this hot glue is gonna come off, girl, and you know it. If you need to brush your cat right now and all you have is a latex glove and a hot glue gun, sure. So far, this is probably the most realistic craft. So this next one, going back to our wearable crafts, looks like a lot of the other ones where it's like a bracelet or like some earrings where you basically just diarrhea some hot glue onto construction paper or like litter it with rhinestones or something and make jewelry out of it. Person needs a stencil to draw a heart. Here's where I get a little lost because if this is really just like a, I'm at home with my glue gun and I wanna make something, would you really have like a necklace ring at your disposal. This is part of the reason why the cost of the materials, although a lot of it was glue, this isn't super duper cheap. It's not like 30 seconds and 30 cents. Like, I don't have this. So more just melting glue. See, then she just pulls out a chain out of nowhere. Like, if you have all that and you've come that far, like, you could put anything on there. But you chose to put hot glue on construction paper. I wanna try it, I wanna see if it's cute. This was a couple dollars, I think, or like a dollar thirty. And then these two together to buy, this is the smallest amount of these I could find, along with a chain. This is like a $10 necklace, which you could just buy at the register of a craft store. But let's fucking do it. Beautiful. I know you can't really see that that well, but it's a heart right in the middle of the paper. Just like theirs, because I don't care about the rest of this paper. I'm not gonna use it for anything. I just bought this whole sheet of construction paper to cut out of that size heart right in the fucking middle. Anyways, jam a little on there. It burned me, it doesn't look great, but you know what, we'll work with it. So now you just doo doo dump dump all over your heart with this hot glue. I will say, this is a five minute craft. Not acquiring the materials, but the executing. Looks like it's worth every penny. This took a hot second to dry because it's just like crafting with molten lava. Just like theirs, there is a little spot at the top that is difficult to cut out, which is a dead giveaway that this is a piece of paper and hot glue. So the bottom of it feels very sharp because this is a sharp piece of paper. So I feel like if you were wearing it with like, you know, a low top, this would, it would hurt. <laughs> so now let me open my $5 chain. I love my money. I love just taking it, dumping it in the toilet. Tell me what the results are, ladies and gentlemen. Is it beautiful? Smash a pass. There's no one here to smash a pass on me, so I'm gonna need you to just tell me if it looks nice. This is the final heart pendant. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely like, look at that when it turns around. Oh. God, it's like you could spray paint a noodle metallic purple. Is this worth $10? This isn't even worth $10. I will pay someone $10 to rip this off me. <laughs> the thought is there, but like maybe, oh, it came apart. It already ripped off and you know I jammed that bitch in here. You could wear this for maybe 15 minutes before this inevitably broke. 
I feel had by that YouTube channel. Yeah, could I hot glue this back together? Sure. It's not even worth the glue at this point. Again, yeah, pieces of glue are cool and fun to touch, but like, not for $10, man. Not for $10. We've come to the very last thing that I have the patience to make right now. And it is by far, along with the shoes, one of the like more popular hot glue hack crafts that I've seen. I mean, I'm not looking forward to it after those, but I feel like I have to do it. So this is what I'm talking about. Oh man, all right. Like my, my arm is tired from the shoes. This is so extra. Bitch. <laughs> Somebody's gotta try it, okay? And I'm gonna try it. We're gonna make a hot glue hat. I mean, I miss my boyfriend and everything, but like, this is kind of an extreme solo activity, you know? How are you supposed to know how big your head is? I feel like the hat could be better because the shoes like need to function as shoes. But like, as long as the hat goes on top of your head, it's accomplished its existence as a hat. Yeah, no, yeah, I'll just go through all the parchment paper. It's fine. Put it on my tab. Right. This is a lot. Five minute crafts, they said. I'm not gonna give up. Five mini crafts, they said. Ooh! This is almost impossible. It doesn't stick. I'm gonna plan B, and I'm just gonna get a bowl. This should be fine, right? Don't even care anymore. It's all uneven. Imagine doing this on a fucking balloon. I'm glad it didn't work. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this off. Like, you know what I did 100 layers and like you start to lose your mind and you can tell that I'm losing my mind? I'm like, I'm getting there. It's very pinchy. Y'all motherfuckers can't even spell elegant. Again, in case you couldn't tell, this is not a five minute craft. I feel like a good rule with hot glue is like, just because you can make it doesn't mean that you should. That's basically what that whole channel is. And yeah, here I am. Because I feel like everyone else knows that you shouldn't do it. But for some reason, I need to try it. I'm gonna try and get this off. I don't ruin my hat, because then I'm gonna be really pissed. I'm ripping apart a lot of it. This does not work, this does not work, this doesn't work. Okay, it's working. It's ripping! And I don't want anyone in the comments to be like, Jenna, you should have covered it in Vaseline first. It's not even worth it. Look. <laughs> it's a hot glue hat. You know what? It's not like it would have been particularly easier on a balloon. Let me have my stupid hat. <gasps> oh my God, I did it. I got it. I got it. This looks like shit. I don't want to hear anyone judging me, okay? I'm trying my best here. Let's just make it a brim and call it a day. You're never gonna be a hat. I swear to God too, like I'm trying my best. I'm not like trying to fuck this up. This is genuinely difficult. Just let's rip it off. It is what it is. I knew this was gonna be terrible. And you know what? It came out even worse than I thought. Does it look good? Does it look like tears and sadness? Wow, what a hat. Have you ever put glue on your hair? It doesn't feel good. I feel like my hair is breaking just being under it. Is it a hat? I don't know, by definition it's a hat. This was not worth the time and energy I spent doing it. Not at all, not even in the least. In fact, I'm mad at myself. I can't believe I've done this. What do you think? Is this what you wanted, five minute crafts? You wanted me to look like this? It doesn't feel right, it doesn't look right. This is a glue hat. This is time that I have genuinely wasted in my life. Genuinely, genuinely wasted. Just like all the hours I spent watching these videos. This is a waste of time. This is glue. No matter what you do with it, this is glue, okay? It's not a hat, it's not shoes, it's not a necklace. This is glue, glue is glue. I hope Julian never leaves me again. I really can't handle another time like this. This is a dark time when you miss your boyfriend. <laughs> so you try to fill your heart with hot glue. Watching these videos, like, you know they're kind of terrible. Yeah, some of them look like, okay, maybe that's okay. But 90% of them, it's just like, what the fuck? Okay, and I'm here to confirm that. I've never seen anyone actually make the glue hat or the glue shoes from those videos. And I did it 
and I'm here to tell you it is not worth it. Time, energy, money, or glue. This is a waste of glue. This is a waste of time. I feel sad on the inside. I don't like it. I literally just made these. I can no longer wear my glue nails or my glue necklace. They have broken and fallen apart. I can wear my glue shoes and my glue hat, but like, am I wearing them or are they wearing me? Could you make an entire shirt out of hot glue? Sure, fuck it. Why don't you just make a car out of hot glue? I don't know. Like, at what point are you like, maybe I shouldn't make that out of hot glue? I'm here to call you out and say these are not life hacks. Do I look like someone whose life is better after I have done this? I feel worse than ever. I should have just taken my actual physical dollar bills and thrown them in the trash because that's where I just put them. There's literally so many other terrible life hacks. So let me know if you'd like me to test any of them because it's all fun and games when you see a little montage of them, but you know what? They don't work and it pisses me off. This is a lie. Maybe I'll go to the beach like this. <laughs> yeah, there's a lady covered in glue at the beach and she won't get out. That's it. I hate everything. I'm like Elsa from Frozen, but I'm hot glue lady. Instead of like frozen power, she has hot glue powers and she builds herself a glue castle and is covered in glue outfit. That's me right now. It's not funny anymore. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put it on your Wednesday slash Thursday. Julian, this is what happens when you leave. You can't leave. You have to stay here for me. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye, lady. Did you see you see that ripping my hair out? It's taken not only my soul, but my hair. Does it look better like this? <laughs> oh, okay, no, that's worse. That's worse. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.